Hey guys, <coughs> excuse me. Um, hey guys, um, it's probably a silly idea to do the video now because I probably won't make a lot of sense because I'm absolutely beat. Um, I think I got six hours sleep last night, which is usually okay, but I think I'm feeling it. I feel I'm absolutely knackered. Um, <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> this is going to be my first. I'm going to do a weekly review of my panic pack. Um, it will always be the night before my weigh in because, um, sorry, I don't know why I went blank there, it'll always be the night before my weigh-in, because obviously the weigh-in day is the start of the new week, it's a week later, so it's, that day starts on all my sheets, so um, it's better to do it the night before. So I'm just going to go through some of them, this is my um, review of my panic and anxiety pack, so there's not much about weight loss in this. There's some stuff about food, but not weight loss, um, because the weight loss, I only do it on a Monday, so there's only one. Uh, one actual input in it so far because the second way is tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is my sheet about uh, things I've done. This was started and I've only done it for five days, but I'm trying to get everything to the same day. Um, so we had things I've done outside of my comfort zone in the last five days. Um, was the drive to Amesbury. Ellie drove, but of course, I with agoraphobia, I have to get over a bit of fear for an hour drive somewhere else. Um, I stayed up till 10 at night when I was looking after my mum, that's quite a big deal because I usually, as soon as I feel even slightly tired, I go to bed, um, so that was good, um, and this is quite pathetic, but I stay clothed, I mean, I, one of my panic things is as soon as I start to panic or feel panicky is I get my top off because I then cool down and relax and I feel comfortable, um, yes, I feel comfortable naked, <laughs> um, doing all the extra going up and down the stairs, my parents' stairs are a bit more, there's less of an incline than stairs we have here so I don't get as out of breath but I went up the loads when I was making my mum's cup mum cup of teas and stuff. Cups of tea. Um did a set of laundry. I watered her plants for her. I met a uh, homemade pizza one night, did all that myself. Um, and all the extra tea runs because usually I wouldn't move. Uh, then the next day um changed some plants that have been soaking round. We went out and I did some walking uh, around some shops. I did the drive into town, I had an anxiety, uh, uh, high anxiety there, and I beat that. Uh, and then I walked around three stores, uh, had an had some anxiousness on the way back, and I beat that. Um, and one of these stores was a big supermarket, so a lot of people as well. So that's quite a good thing. Um, and then today, getting all my stuff ready to take home from my mum, the drive back home, and getting everything out of the car and sorting it out at home. So yeah, so. Uh, I've done more than I thought I'd done, and I mean, I think this is actually going to be a really good tool for me because it means I can realise that I am doing stuff, and I'm okay. Right, next sheet is my daily goals. Um, there's five goals, all the same goals that I try and do every day, um, and there's a lot more not done on this than are, which I'm not happy with. But it's only my first week doing it, so um, so out of seven seven uh, days for getting dressed. I did it six times out of seven. Uh, the first day I didn't do it, but every day after I did. Obviously when I was looking after my mum I had to be dressed. So. Um, tidier surface, I did that only three days out of the four, mainly because the four days, uh, first four days I was here and I didn't tidy anything, and the three days, three days I was with my mum I had to tidy. Um, so actually looking after my mum's done good to boost my goals. Um, put out any rubbish, that's just a basic tidying up kind of thing, and I did it two days out of f for seven, and yeah, um, not not really good. Um, meditation, which has a separate sheet, so I'll leave that and write for an hour. Write for an hour. I haven't done that any of the seven days. That's something I really need to get started. I need to get myself a nice journal and just write whatever. If it's poetry, lyrics, angry letter to someone complete gobbledygook, anything, I just need to write for an hour because it relaxes me and gets me away from technology. So that's my daily goals, I need to work harder on them, definitely. Um, my meditation sheet, so um, I, I look to meditate in the AM and the PM, so before 12, noon and afternoon, um, and then I've also got the playlist I used, and out of, what, 7, um, 14, chances to meditate, I meditated three times, terrible. 
because one of those times was like breathtakingly amazing and really really calmed me down so I need to meditate more um, so yeah that's only 3 out of 14 chances which is really bad um, and then I've got my food diary and my happiness sheet I mean as you can see my food diary these are going to be edited because I've added things to them I don't know if you can see, but the ones that are left white are what I felt like at the end of the day. So you can see that it's gone up uh, like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I would edit that out, but I don't have the, the program to do that, so I apologise. And it's too late for me to go back and do all this again. So you can deal with my laziness. <laughs> um, so yeah, first day I did this, I felt quite down. I think me and Ellie probably had an argument. Um, and I was quite down. The next day it went up a bit. I think um, that was me getting going to see my parents on that day. So I was really excited to see them. But still a little bit anxious. And then I had a moment with some ginger beer. that had 45 grams of sugar in a normal 330 milliliter can. That's like it's 10, gra uh, 10 grams less sugar than a whole full bottle of Lucasade. Ridiculous. And it was a complete accident. But it sent me into a really bad sugar rush with heart beating which then brought panic and it's horrible and I can't believe obviously I've now thought about it and worked out that because it's in liquid form it got into my bloodstream a lot quicker so yeah um, so obviously I've, what I've added to the end of these day things as well as a smiley face I've got the best point and the worst point of the day so I can see if there's any patterns in that as well so the best point of that day was being home with my parents and the worst part was the ginger beer uh, next day, I'd obviously settled in with my mum and was just starting to enjoy that. So that's gone up to the the um, happy face, not the ecstatic face, but the happy face. Um, good point being, I was doing more, and the bad point was I was I was really achy, which I'm pretty sure is just due to doing more. I mean, I normally spend my days I move maybe four times a day, probably more, but to toilet and eat, that's basically it. Whereas this time I was up doing stuff for my mum all the time. Which is nice because it's proved to me I can do it. Um, so that's that day. And the next day, same. I'm going to keep the ecstatic face to days when there's no anxiety and stuff. But um, good point was I went shopping. That's brilliant. And bad point was in the evening I had um, a, sp a spot of pain in my left arm, upper arm, for two hours. And that kept me on edge. And it went away and it wasn't anything. But it made me worry at the time. Um, and then today it's gone down a bit because obviously Ellie's a little... As much as Ellie being a source of calm for me, she's also a kind of source of stress. Which is not her fault, it's just the way relationships and life is. Um, so yeah, I got a little bit stressed today and then having to pack everything up. But the best point today was that um, I had an hour this morning after I woke up when I was doing stuff and I was, wasn't out of breath for anything and I felt amazing for the whole thing. Um, so yeah, that was it. And obviously, the best. So yeah, that was the best point of the day and the worst part was that I had to leave home. Um, so yeah, that's the happiness bit. And then finally is my food diary, which I'm not going to go through everything I ate. Um, but there is um, a few things on here that are quite interesting. There's um, like what I've added to the site, because this, this is my food diary for the week. Um, it's only five days on here because I started this two days instead of seven but yeah so what I've put at the end I've added at the end is a, a, a veg count and a fruit count for the day to see how many portions of fruit and veg I have and see if that is affecting me in any way at all because there's certain I know vegetables and fruit can help mood wise and can change your mood um, so yeah so uh, first day I had two portions of veg and one portion of fruit next day I had two portions of veg and no fruit next day four portions of fruit and no fruit Next day, four portions of veg, no fruit, and today, no veg or no fruit. It's been really bad today. I've had no food in the house because we moved home and we didn't buy any. We're going to go shopping tomorrow, so today's been eating shit. And I genuinely think when I eat shit, I don't know if it's a mental thing, I don't know if it's psychological, but when I'm eating badly, I feel bad nowadays. So, Right, and I've got my two sheets now either side. And you can actually see the pattern between fruit and veg and my smiley faces. Um, and I don't know if this has anything to do, or if it's related, because it's only been a week, five days even, on these two things, and I, I can't tell whether um, there is a pattern there yet, because there's not enough data, but... Oh, my video's going to cut out in a minute, so... Yeah, cheers for watching, guys, and I'll fill you in again some other time. Thank you, bye!